Hello everybody, it's Dr. A. Welcome back to History Surfer. I'm going to be talking about Old Northwood, an area north of West Palm Beach, established in 1884. Well, not established, but actually the first building. This is a little park here. It's a really beautiful place, but it was the Reverend Eldridge Gale who built the first house over here in this area. And it would, then it was just the west side of the lake, Lake Worth. And then it expanded to become Old Northwood. Uh, by the time we see the 20s and the boom, the Florida land boom happen, uh, the uh, company led by David Dunkel, you'll see it here on the sign, Pinewood Development purchased 400 acres here and built all these structures. There's various types of um, architectural styles here. And one of the best things about this area is it's got some amazing old Spanish style homes. I uh, went over to 32nd Street, so you'll see that in the film. I'm gonna turn the film on the camera on me. Hey, good to see you guys. Uh, but. It's one of those areas that went through a tragic decline. In the 60s, the professional population started to move out of here and they were moving west. It was quite a flight west by the 70s, the 80s. Northwood was uh, having a lot of issues. But in the 80s, the association was formed and there was a revitalization began to occur here. And so now, it's a beautiful place. I mean, it's right on the water, it's close to downtown. If you get an opportunity, if you come visit the area, stay in one of the B&Bs in here. Uh, it's really nice. It's just an old, old neighborhood with Mediterranean style, wood frame vernacular. If you're into architecture, there's some really amazing places. And I'm going to go down to Old Northwood, the street, Northwood Road, it's actually, and show you some of the little businesses and stuff. So hope you enjoy it if you get to visit here. Uh, and hopefully after the pandemic, we'll all get back to, they used to have a Friday night on the avenue in Old Northwood. It was fun, but maybe one day again, I'll be back with you. This is a famous property in the Northwood area. John Volk was one of the big architects in West Palm, excuse me, in Palm Beach. But before he began his career over there, he was working over here. Uh, Northwood had a lot of professionals. There were doctors, people who lived in, there's a hospital that was not too far from here, and lawyers. So it was quite a prosperous area. Boat began here. Now this is a rental property. You can actually stay here. driving down Northwood Road. I'm gonna park and walk around. I just wanted you to see some of the things that are out here. There's some good little restaurants and stores and some park stuff. It's off the beaten path and I think it's worth coming down here if you're visiting or even if you live here. If you've not come down here, there's some cool stuff. So I'm gonna get out and walk around a little bit and Check it out. Hope you guys enjoy this thing about Northwood. Don't forget, subscribe. They got construction. And I'll check you later. Peace out, people. It's a Caribbean restaurant. We're down here on Northwood Road. If you look across the street, you can see everything's really decorated nice. Very artsy feel down here. This is the Northwood Road Historic District. Now, what's interesting about Northwood Road is it was called a road and not a street because it's where West Palm Beach used to end. And streets are in town roads are big thoroughfares so it's unique that way you can see here from it's a historic district now 
and it is predominantly small businesses. I've walked around a little bit. I'll walk around a little more. Little restaurants, artsy stuff, and the resurgence in the area really does occur. First, there's a boom in the 40s. Of course, that's after World War II. And then there's a boom again when they start to redo Northwood in the 80s. And now they have festivals and stuff, but again, because of the pandemic, uh, you know. Anyway, enjoy it. We just ate at Cafe Centro. It's right here on Northwood Road. Uh, it's Zagat rated. It's awesome. I would highly recommend it. Lunchtime, perfect. <laughs>